hi guys my name is Sabine and welcome to another video today I have a really quick video for you guys because you guys are deciding two out of the four books which will be on my May TBR I wanted to do something a little bit different for my May TBR and if this is something that will go very well I might be doing it for another time in the future so yeah I myself have chosen two books each in some type of genre and you guys will pick one of the two and I will try and read that book in May. Let's just get it on with so you guys can vote for which book you think is the most interesting for me to read in the month of May. First off, I want to read a contemporary book and for this one I have either Love, Hate and Other Filters by Samira Ahmed. This own voice's story is about a girl who lives in New York and she is Muslim. She has all these dreams and she wants to do all these things but then all of a sudden a terrorist attack happened and it is all about how people view her from that moment on. It is a situation which is very accurate to what is happening in the world right now and I think that um, this is going to be a very educational but also great contemporary read because this is something that is happening right now and I think that it would be just very interesting to pick up. And the other book that you guys can choose from, which I should read, is The Exact Opposite of OK by Laura Stephen. I bought this one in Dublin, so if you want to see my Dublin book haul, link to the video will be somewhere here in the screen. This book recently came out and it sounds just absolutely amazing. I've heard great things. I've read two of the pages and I already like laughed so hard. I'm gonna read the back for you guys because I don't really know how to summarize this without reading the synopsis. Izzy never expected to be 18 and internationally reviled, but when photos involving her, a politician's son, and a garden bench emerged, the troll set out to take her apart. Armed with her best friend Ayita and a metric ton of nachos, she must figure out who's behind the fish's website while keeping her sanity intact. Izzy is about to find out that the way the world treats girls is not okay. It is the exact opposite of okay. So this is like a feminist type of book and I just recently read Moxie by Jennifer Matthew I think is her name and that was all about feminism too and this just seems like again a very educational contemporary read. So you guys get to pick which one of these two books I will be picking up in May. So will I read the exact opposite of okay by Lauren Ste by Laura Steven or will I pick up Love, Hate, and Other Filters by Samira Ahmed. So you guys can pick which one. I really cannot wait to pick either one of these up. So you guys have to decide for me because I am an indecisive person. So next up, you guys can pick sort of like a classic fantasy story that I'm gonna read in May. So one of the stories is definitely a whole lot more of a classic than the other one. But for the other book, the author is just so well known in the fantasy community and in the booktube community. So I think that the author of that book is more of like a modern classic type of guy. Let's start with the first classic fantasy story that I might pick up in May and that is The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. I also bought this one in Dublin and I'm just like so excited to pick this one up because it's like a children's classic fantasy story. I'm doing like children's because I don't know how childish this book is going to be but i've heard amazing things about this i want to see all the movies i have never watched any of these stories by J.R.R. Tolkien in a movie type of version, I truly have no clue what this story is about, which I think is amazing because this story has been out for, I think, 75 plus years. Bilbo Baggins is a hobbit who enjoys a comfortable, unambitious life, rarely traveling further than the pantry of his hobbit hole in Bag End. But his contentment is disturbed when the wizard Gandalf and a company of 13 dwarves arrive on his doorstep one day to whisk him away on a journey there and back again. They have a plot to raid the treasure hoard of Smok the Magnificent, a large and very dangerous dragon. So that is the synopsis of The Hobbit. I feel like this is just something that I have to read eventually in my life. So this is pick number one. The pick number two is Steelheart by Brandon Sanderson. So this is the first in a trilogy. This is the only Brandon Sanderson book that I own. I mean, his name is just so well known in the booktube community. He has written a lot of fantasy stories and they are very well known for being amazing. So the synopsis for this one, 10 years ago calamity came. It was a burst in the sky that gave ordinary men and women extraordinary powers. The odd public started calling them epics, but epics are no friend of men. With incredible gifts came the desire to rule, and to rule men you must crush his will. Nobody fights the epics, nobody but the reckoners. A shadowy group of ordinary humans, they spent their lives studying epics, finding their weaknesses, and then assassinating them. And David wants in. He wants Steelheart, the epic who is said to be invincible. The epic who killed David's father. 
For years, like the Reckoners, David's been studying and planning and he has something they need. Not an object, but an experience. He's seen Steelheart bleed and he wants revenge. This just sounds really good and like one of the groups in this book, it sounds epic. Right now, you guys get to decide if I will either read The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien or if I will read Steelheart by Brandon Sanderson. Ugh. His name is so hard to pronounce. Brandon Sanderson. Okay. Leave your vote somewhere here on the screen. So yeah, I have four books and two of them you guys will be able to pick from and I will read that in May or at least I will try to. Quickly go vote for these books and then in a couple of days I will upload my April wrap up and my May TBR and I'm really excited to do that and see what you guys picked for me to read because I'm really excited for basically all of these books but I just I just don't have the time to read all of them at once. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm really happy with you guys voting for the books that I will be reading in May. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or the button down below. You guys can also follow me on all of my social media pages. Of course, I have Goodreads, Snapchat, Instagram, plus an email address and links to that will be in the description bar down below as well. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!